after searching over 20 hours on all internet trying to find the best servers for you guys i am back for a brand new video how everyone is foxy and today i'm going to show you how to get a free four core 16 gigabytes of ram let's get started okay so before talking about the website in general i'm going to show you how to get one free active studio that's going to run on a four hour session limit that you can launch as many times as you want uh, you'll be able to get uh, up to 32 core cpu machines and one single gpu machine uh, thanks to your 50 monthly lightning credits included we'll talk a bit more of that later on uh, you'll be able to connect to this server via SSH, local ID. You'll get 100 gigabytes of persistent storage. So 100 gigabytes that will be just for you that no one else can touch. Talking about the website in question, what you're going to have to do is go in the description box down below. Uh, stay until the end of this video because you will need some knowledge to be able to go further and to be able to unlock the maximum potential on your free account so once you're going to be on the link down below so lightning.ai you're going to have to sign an account so um the thing is that if you have a google account it might take two to three days for it to get accepted um what i have done uh, since i am a student i have used my student email that's it will instantly give me access to uh, the platform uh, if you have a student email, use it, you will get the benefits. And if you have a .edu, you will even be able to receive the 15 monthly coins. Um, they do not give it to the Gmails anymore and they do not give it to the um, uh, to the other emails, the other student emails. So you have to have a .edu if you want to get your 15 monthly credits. But even without that, um, you will still get your full core 16 gigabytes of RAM because that is a free. So uh, what you're going to have to do is uh, have a phone number, but for the phone number, we can simply bypass that by using uh, websites such as quacr.io. I call that quack, call that whatever you want. They're going to give you uh, temporary numbers that you can use. Um, I've tried it. It works. You can try. Maybe they're not all going to work, but I'm sure there's going to be some that's going to work. Just check it out. Anyway, you have nothing to lose. Or if you have your own phone number, well, just put that because that will instantly work. Um, just note that I have tried using the same number on multiple accounts. It works. I don't know if that's a feature or not. Might check it out. Um, and yeah. So there you go. As you can see, when you click on the email uh, link, you'll be redirected to a page that's going to let you create a new studio. And on there, it shows you get a free active studio 24 7 and 22 months of GPU hours. Uh, I think they just forgot to change the page. I, I think they just forgot to change the description. Uh, I, I tried this one out, especially. It, 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 does, it doesn't change anything. You still get only four hours. So there you go. As you can see on this screen here, uh, it shows free and the machine is four cores, uh, four CPU. It means four cores. Uh, the status is on. It's going to be up for four hours. I don't know if it's, uh, you have to stay there for four hours. As long as you continue, you get like four hours of idle. Or if it's like you get four hours and after four hours, it's just going to cut. I hope personally that it's going to be the four hours where you have to uh, stay on the machine and if you leave you get four hours of idle because if that's the case we could make this 24 7 thanks to uh, intern rdps and systems like that um although i don't know uh, if someone could test that out and tell me in the comments i would be rather grateful and so here what we're going to do is that we're going to simply install neofetch like this we can slide this i can show you um like this i can show you the uh, server that we are using today um, so I'm just going to clear this, make something a bit cleaner. There we go. We have, so four cores are shown on screen, 16 gigabytes of RAM. I'm going to also show the HTOP installed. Let's install that real quick. There we go. And uh, on the HTOP, you can see the same. Uh, we're using four cores and 16 gigabytes of RAM. 
All right, so for all the OGs out there, I know you already know it, but if you have not joined the Discord server yet, please join it down below. Over there, I will post all the uh, actualities that you should know, plus some little bonuses from here and there about other stuff that could happen. Um, and now let's quickly talk about all the things uh, that you can get and how to access them. So if you have your monthly credits to get a GPU, or uh, getting more uh, CPU power, you would have to go here as shown, and you can only get one of those four GPUs. You can choose which one you want. Uh, just watch out because they do cost your lightning hours. Um, for your environment information, you can see it's right here. Uh, to see which terminal you've been using, you can simply go on there and you can click like I've just done there, and it will open you a web terminal. As so, if you like to work on web terminals, this is kind of cool. You have your team space drive. So this is where you'll be able to stock your uh, data between multiple different servers. You have a VS code, the one that we are using right now. You have a Jupyter notebook that's just going to open the Jupyter one. So I'm going to put myself back on VS code. Uh, you have jobs that will work on separate machines. So not this one, but on other kinds of uh, other kinds of machines uh, no any um, bonus machines um, but you'll be able to, to still keep your four cores as so um, and you also have tensor boards tensor board uh, for people that knows it uh, they will know how to use it if you don't know what it is you won't there's no point of me explaining to you it's for uh, AI infrastructure uh, after you have all the rest here, as so, so for training AI, everything like that, uh, serving data, web apps, even web apps, yes, you can display a web UI or stuff like that. Um, to connect to GitHub, uh, you should know how it works. To open a terminal, we have to go to terminal, new terminal right there. And to get your sudo sudo, you just need to type it right there and you have sudo access. Uh, to see the files, you have to click on Explorer and you'll have all the files on here, as so. And to install, you have to do apt install and you put the file you need to install. So there you go, that's over all the things you need to know um, how a server works, of course. If you want any more precision on how to, for example, install a Puffer Panel server, a Minecraft server, Pterodactyl server, let me know and I will, depending on the comments, uh, choose one format and I will do it for the next video. So thank you everyone for watching, thank you for the support and I'll see you for the next video. Ciao bye.